This week, in forklift news from CertifyMe.net, a forklift stolen for a Pepsi. This week, in ocean news from CertifyMe.net, a forklift stolen for a Pepsi. So a lacrosse resident recently stole a forklift in order to break into a Pepsi machine. We've been talking a lot about forklift thefts and how these kinds of thefts seem to be happening quite a bit in small towns. The police don't really have any solid leads on who this particular individual was, but the thief did leave some certain materials behind at the scene, such as some tools that the police believe may lead them to a former employee of the construction company. As you might imagine, when something like this happens, it happens because the forklifts and the work area were not completely secured. We can't really know for sure if the thief was forklift certified. Of course, there are suspicions that this person was allegedly an employee, but we have really no confirmation. This person did drive the forklift off the lot, pick up a Pepsi machine, drop it repeatedly until the coin box came out, and then the thief ran off with the coin box. There's no video surveillance anywhere that shows who this thief might be, and the tools that were left are really the only clue that the lacrosse police have to work with. So what do you do when you own a construction site or a warehouse and you want to keep your equipment safe? Obviously, a thief will come in at any time, jump on equipment, and take it away, so it's important to secure the area. You want to secure the machines and put alarms on them if possible, make sure that the gates that lead in and out of the facility are impenetrable, and it's also important to consider even some low-grade video surveillance on the area, so that when somebody steals your equipment, you can either retrieve it quickly or make sure that you're compensated. For more information on securing your valuable collateral in the workplace and on forklift certification, visit www.certifyme.net.